Hello, it's good to see you all here on Thursday, May 14th at around 4.30 p.m. here almost. Just want to offer a word uh, from God's Word from the Psalms uh, 63 this, this afternoon as David wrote many of the Psalms and as he sits in the wilderness of Judah as he writes this. I'm going to read you the first three verses. I just really share just kind of verse three and how it really spoke to me. It says, O oh God, you are my God. I shall seek you earnestly. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh yearns for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Thus I have seen you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. And here's David in the wilderness in a dry and weary land where there's no water, physically just crying out to God. And he says, I've seen you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory because what? your loving kindness is better than life. My lips will praise you. For me, there are times in my life where you know you have those big high moments where you're just, you feel like you are so close to the Lord and you are just in his will and you're being faithful. And there's other times those low moments where you feel like you've screwed up, you're, you're a failure. David experienced all of that. Called by God, appointed by God, king of Israel, had issues with his family and his kids and made mistake after mistake, but yet was faithful at times as well, following the Lord, doing what the Lord had commanded. And yet he sits here as he writes this psalm and cries out, because your loving kindness in verse 3 is better than life, my lips will praise you. One of the things David was growing and understanding of is just the love of God. How many of the psalms talk about this as David shares his raw emotion about where he's at, how he's feeling as he cries out to God sometimes in lament. It says, your loving kindness is better than life. Better than my life, God, because your love, God, never changes never ends as a child of God, adopted, paid for, blessed and loved because of what Christ has done. Your love, God, never, never, ever ends. It's better than my life because I, even though I'm dry and weary and tired, even though I'm exhausted, even though I'm doubting, even though I'm mentally exhausted right now in my life, as you might be today, you get discouraged. You start to doubt that God is there. You start to doubt that God is present. And we need to come back to this foundational truth as a child of God, a believer in Christ, sealed by the Holy Spirit, that we know that God will always love us. Always. And his love is better than anything in this world which is why David can praise God. That's why his lips just, it's part of our worship. Why? Because we love God. We love him with everything that we are. Because we find such, I know I do, I find such security in that, just sitting in God's lap of sorts and knowing that he loves me uh, no matter what. No matter what. And when you have a friendship like that or a relationship with someone that you know they love you no matter what, it's empowering. It's freeing. So I pray for you today that this is encouragement to you as you may be mentally exhausted, tired physically, spiritually, mentally, just ready to give up. Maybe you're having doubts and questions of God's there. He is there. And he loves you. As a child of God, and I pray that encourages you today. That you just sit and meditate on his love for you. Think of the many ways he loves you and that his love will never end for you. How he shows his love to you in your life. Because it's such, it's so powerful and it's so empowering. Because we can always be secure in God's love because there's nothing like it. It's supernatural, it's agape. And may your lips praise him because of it. That verse just keeps ruminating in my mind and heart this week. It keeps coming up to remind me that, you know what? It's, it's, it's strengthening to know that no matter what I do or say, God loves me. As I confess my sin, as I repent, God loves me. Because that's what David did. And, and for you as well. Even in these times, God's love for you as a child of God will never change. So if you don't know him today, confess your sin. Believe in what he has done for you to experience his love in the cross and the empty tomb. To know that man, 
His love for you is endless. Endless. It's better than life. May your lips and my lips praise him today for his great love. Blessings, my friends. Have a good weekend.